but not regular what did you say everybody has it ma'am but not regular yes not regularly use it ma'am don't use you don't use it all right no problem actually the companies are also following the same procedure people have twitter accounts usually twitter is considered to be something like a personal opinion sharing in the public in the public platform but in order to trend any concept twitter is the best platform because lot of people will be participating in that and you can get in connection with people very quickly so well whatever it is here we are not talking about the personal usage of twitter we are talking only about the business usage of twitter so how to use twitter for your business purpose account creation account optimization and tweeting options let us see the options this is how your profile will look like instead of showing this i'll go to the account directly so first time users need to sign up they need to create their login either with their gmail or with their phone number or a password with something you can create a login and you can enter inside and there is nothing called a separate uh, pro personal profile and a professional profile for each page either you can use it as a personal account or you can use it as a professional account you don't you can't use it same account in two ways in facebook we have that option under profile we will be creating business page isn't it one second guys yeah so in facebook we have an option of having a profile and under, under that profile you can create multiple business pages isn't it the business pages you can create many 1 2 3 4 whatever you want but here twitter is not like that you need to create only one account with an email id either you can use it for personal purpose or you can use it for professional environment or designers can make it into a creator account so everything will be only on that particular account only you can't create any sub accounts inside so once you log in what are the options profile editing options ma for optimization where do you do that can you see your profile this is what we call profile here first let me go to the home page i'm on my home page currently i can click on my profile option and you can see here edit profile section if i click on edit profile i have the option of uploading my profile picture cover photo you know this already just like how you do in any other social media platform same thing you can select this and add a photo you don't have much options like linkedin adding frames keeping your status nothing like that so just you can add a background image here what are the dimensions i have given you probably right profile photo 400 by 400 pixels header photo 1500 by 500 usually a square image and a landscape image high uh, high quality hd images with jpg or png format as usual and what else you can add here you can add your name let us say you are using it for your personal purpose you will write your name if you are using it for your business purpose you can write your company name also that, that is your choice and this bio is nothing but your description wherever there is a description you will use your target keywords so write your description you have a character space of 160 characters then you can add your location your website the website url whether you use it or not put the website url here it will act as a backlink for you you will be getting link juice from twitter so keep your website url here you can add your birth date and this is the place where you will switch to either personal account or professional account right now mine is in professional account status if i click on that switch account type switch to personal same account either i can switch it to personal and use as a personal account or i can keep it as a professional account if i keep it as a professional account what is one different thing i'll get i'll get insights that is analytics what is happening on your account that analytics can be found on professional accounts on personal accounts you will not have any insights so that's it and editors can go for a creator account and where do you find it here switch that's it you have a category selection option here i have selected education as my category if you want to change it you can change it at any point of time and save it and people can see that category on your profile if you keep it on 
If you keep it off, they can't see your category. See here and see now. So that's about it. Editing your profile option. It will be here. This is my Twitter handle. You call it Twitter handle. In Facebook, you call it account. Here you call it handle. And this is my name. That is the description that I have given. This is the name. This is the description. This is my category and my joining date. How many followers I have and how many members I am following. Without following at least one account, you can't create the account. So I followed one. And I don't have any followers because this account I use only for training purpose. So that's about it. Editing options. Quickly, let us check what we can do here. Click on profile. Click on edit profile. After getting inside, you can add your profile picture or your background image. Here you will write your name. If you are using it for company purpose or company behalf, you can write your company name as well. And your bio is nothing but your description. You have a character limit of 160 characters. Within that, use your proper keywords and write it. You can update, update your location, add your website URL. Don't forget to add your website URL. It helps as a backlink for you. And that's about the dimensions of your profile picture and header photo. And this is the process of switching the account from personal to professional. You can see here, switch to professional. When I was doing that, it was a personal account. I switched it to professional account. However, if you don't have followers, it is difficult to get a professional account approval. Okay. Usually, if it is a new account and immediately you are trying for a professional account, it will not allow you at all. So even if you don't have followers, maybe after you wait for a few days, then if you try for a professional account, it will switch off. Okay, so you need to wait until you lose that uh, newly created account tag. So for newly created accounts, it is not possible to switch. Once your account is eligible, you will get the option of switching. What is the additional option in the professional account? You can customize your pro uh, profile. You can have the look at your insights and you can promote the tweets. So if you want to increase followers, what are the steps that you need to follow? Basic steps, what you do in uh, Google My Business or what should you do on Facebook, Instagram? You need to be active, first of all. You need to be posting regularly. A lot of times, if you see the Twitter accounts of companies, you will see one post on a festival, that's all. So you should not be like that. You keep posting regularly, you get regular followers. Automatically, people will get connected with you. You add yourself into your like-minded people list, follow pages, like their tweets, retweet their tweets. This kind of activity is going to help you to grow your followers. You need to look into the trending topics and try to post something about the trending topics or look for keywords or hashtags which are related to your industry. Create some useful information. <laughs> now don't make unnecessary statements and all because if you are using it for a professional account especially, your opinion is considered as your company's opinion. So be careful while tweeting anything. Anything you tweet on Twitter, it will go viral if it is not correct. So be careful about it. Choose properly the words and all. Choose proper content to paste, uh, post on your Twitter. And then add variety of images, visuals, etc. The videos, etc. To make it more engaging. People will connect with this kind of post more. So tweet consistently. Don't take a long breaks between that. Have a content calendar. Plan your ideas. And put it them on the Twitter. Engage with the thoughtful leaders of your industry. Let us say you belong to digital marketing industry. For our industry, we have some popular personalities who will be posting regularly about uh, updates of digital marketing. We will follow such pages. So what happens? Our like-minded people will also be following there. And whatever we are posting, they'll be seeing. So in that way, also followers increase. And when you are giving a signature with your email, sending out an email, etc., add your Twitter handle also. Let people know that you are on Twitter and they can connect with you. And you can check your email contacts with all the email IDs. You can send out a mail asking them if they are present on Twitter, they can follow you. So that's about the regular steps that you need to do for promoting your Twitter followers, increasing your Twitter followers. So posting on Twitter, in Twitter, you call it a tweet. We call it a tweet. And usually what we call post in any other social media platform, here we call it a tweet. 
the character limit right now is 280 characters i don't know what it will be tomorrow because they keep on changing this very drastically so we had 160 earlier they made it 140 they made it 180 now it is 280 we don't know so right now it is 280 characters that includes your text as well as your hashtags if you want to add hashtags to your post including the hashtags and the text that you are writing you need to keep it within 280 characters however surveys say that if your text is less you will get more engagement so don't write paras and paras keep it less 70 to 100 characters it will get you good engagement what is the possibility of engagement on twitter ma what engagement do you get on twitter any idea in facebook what is the engagement that we get online people what happens what engagement will you get on facebook padmini is telling me the answer in the classroom i want to hear it from online guys any one of to you to get customers attracting the customers guys think about it slowly engagement That on engage. facebook acha acha she is shouting the answer to help you guys yeah online also like share and comment is the engagement on facebook guys do you remember yes ma'am yes ma'am like yeah. share and comment like share and comment is the possible engagement possible for engagement right on facebook here like is like there is no change in twitter also you call it like instead of share here you call it retweet you call it retweet comment is as usual comment or you have a reply option here the button is reply let me open the twitter account and see the tweets here this is reply which is comment section this is share button which is retweet and this is like option this is external sharing which has been activated only one month back before that it was not there yeah we can share this post to any other platform from twitter if you click on this you can see you can copy this link of the tweet and send to anyone else you can put it on whatsapp also direct messages send via direct message share tweet via and you can select what do you want to use you can use any of your in this system in this laptop i mean desktop i don't have any options like whatsapp etc if you have any app you can use that app to share your tweet so external tweeting is also available and you can save this tweet bookmarking the tweet is nothing but saving the tweet let us say you like some tweet you can keep it saved and later you can read it right so that's about options that are available reply which is comment retweet which is share like and share external these are the options if you want to block anyone if you want to report any tweet you have the option on this three dot button not interested etc follow or unfollow all this stuff i usually have more of this cricket on my twitter post i mean twitter platform so how to create a tweet on twitter how to post you have home button here you have the tweeting option you can select it and you can start writing or can you see something here an edit button if you click on this also this tweet option opens up who can see your tweet everyone or only you are twitter circle your friends i don't have any circle here i can keep it to any everyone and then you will write your text here whatever the text is and then you can add hashtags related to your industry start typing you will see if any hashtags are available with that particular word so i have digital marketing services digital marketing service digital marketing agency digital marketing tips i can add uh, hashtags like this and after adding the hashtag who can reply you everyone can give a reply to you or only people whom you are following or people whom you are mentioning actually you can mention people by writing their specific handles their twitter handle you have to mention and they will be tagged you can upload a media that is a image or a video along with your post you can add a gif you can create a poll twitter is the basic place where polls are created more 
public opinion gathering platform. So you can give your question here, whatever question you want to give. You can give choices here, one, two, three, four, more choices if you want. If you want to delete the already added one, you can remove the poll here. The length of the poll can be from one day to seven days or even less than one day. For hours also, you can conduct. Only two hours, three hours, one hour also. So only one hour I want to conduct the poll. I don't want it to be hour also. I want it only five minutes. This is the minimum time. Five minutes to 59 minutes or one hour and more. Up to seven days. So these are the options. That's about creating poll. You have an option of uploading emojis, which I don't prefer to do in a professional account. But that is your choice. Let us say your post is ready. You don't want to post it right away. You can keep it saved. Scheduled for future. I want my post to be posted on so-and-so date, so-and-so time. You can select that. I want it to be posted on January. Well, once again, let me change the year first. January 1st, 2023. I can create a new year post and keep it ready. It is automatically posted on that particular day. Let us say morning 9 a.m. I want to do this. Done. So this account, from this account, a post will go on that particular day. That is January 1st, 2023. Post will be posted. So that, that's how you'll schedule. You have the scheduling up to two years. Till 2024 ending, you can schedule. So this is posting options, ma. Where do you do that? Either here on the home page or here on the tweet button. That's what I have given you. Click on the tweet button. This was earlier format. And this is the scheduling option. You can write your content here. You can choose whom to who should reply. Your image or GIF or poll or emoji. And then finally, scheduling option. You can keep it scheduled. You have the options drop down here. And you select the time. And then you have something called changing the display options. By default, Twitter's basic colors are blue. Everywhere there is some content, everywhere there is some handle. You will see them in this sky blue color, which is the official color of Twitter. Let us say you want to customize it for your own colors. No one will do that, but you have the option. Under this, settings. Under settings, you'll have something called display. By default, it is blue. Let me change to some other color. Twitter's logo will not change. And this official button will not change. Only handles and hashtags will change. Okay, ma? So that is about changing the default colors. You have this dim option and light out option, which is dark theme. By default, it will be white. You can make it dim or you can make it light, so complete dark, whichever. You can change the font of the tweets. By default, it will be medium, default one. You can make it small or extra small, large or extra large. And you can click on done. That's about it. Let me keep it original. That is the display option. Yes, of course, we definitely. Even for the personal usage, I always suggest people to go for official colors only. Don't customize colors. It won't look good. But yes, we have options, so I have to tell. That's it. So this is the customizing option, customizing of the view. And then you have an option of creating list. What is the purpose of creating list? Let me tell you. Let us say there are some handles on Twitter which you want to monitor regularly. Let us say your competitors' handles or let us say some handles which will give latest updates. I want to know more news about digital marketing. I want to follow these pages. But every day I don't have time to go to that particular account and check what they have posted. So what I can do, I can keep a list of those accounts and I can get into that list and there I can see all that they have posted. So how to create a list? Let me show you. On the same profile section, you will have lists. Get into that and you can create a list here. Add new list. Give a background picture for this. Name for this list. Description. Usually in our industry, digital marketing, we create competitors list. So what our competitors are posting daily, we'll be checking that. So to keep a monitor like that, we'll be doing this. However, when you are doing such lists, please make them private, guys. Otherwise, if people come, they can see that you are monitoring them. 
So instead of making it visible, if you make it private, only you can see it. And all the lists that you have created can be found here. This is just a sample list which I created and I have logged it. Can you see here the log button? It means it is logged and it is only visible for me. I can create 10 lists also, let us see. And whichever list I want to regularly follow, I can pin it. And I can see the pinned lists here. If I open that list, I can get inside and see what all the people have posted in this particular list. At any point of time, I want to delete this list. Click on edit button and you'll get the delete list option. You know, we are not following them. We are just monitoring them. Okay. If you follow them, you'll get their updates on the wall itself whenever they are posting. But again, you might miss them also. That is a different story. But here, if you can add them to the list, you need not follow them, but you'll get all the posts that they are making, the tweets that they are making on regular basis. Online people, are you following me? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You can create a name for it. You can give a description for it. You can add pages to that and you can save it, but don't forget to make it private. And you can see all your Twitter lists here. How many members are there in that list? This is my another account. So how many members are there? What they are posting and all you can see. See, this is my other account wherein you can see so many lists. Competition, competitors top level, Google list, Hyderabad list one, Hyderabad list one. So all of them are logged. And I can get inside that and see what they are posting. If I click on that list, I can see what are all their posts in this past. And if I click on edit list, I'll get a delete list option. Actually, that's it. Nothing more is there on Twitter to discuss about. Few options, let me tell you. Home, you know this already. You can tweet here. And whatever pages you are following, whatever profiles you are following, their updates you can see here. This is trending topics. What do you mean by trending topics? What are the latest hashtags that are running in the market currently? You will have something customized for you depending on your usage. Let us say I look at more of this cricket news. I look at more of this entertainment stuff, news, etc. So I will get my related content. It doesn't mean that these are the right hashtags. It is customized for me. If you want to see the real trending topics, get into the trending section. So these are the top trending topics worldwide. Okay. You can choose any country specification if you want. What is happening in Afghanistan? What is the Twitter trend in Australia? What is the Twitter trend in our country? So whatever, if you want to choose any country specific results, you can go ahead and select that location. Explore location and show content in that particular location. Apart from that, we have news, sports, entertainment, which are by default sections. Earlier for uh, two years, we had COVID-19 section also on the Twitter, but they have removed it because now the pandemic's flow is less. So that's about it. The hashtags, trending hashtags. If anyone search for any trend, any hashtag, they can see all the tweets which people made using this particular hashtag. These are the top tweets with it. These are the latest tweets with it. These are the people who made posts with this particular hashtag. Photos which are having this particular hashtag. Videos which are having this particular hashtag. You can see all that data under each hashtag section. And then you have something called notifications. If people have sent you any messages and all the stuff, you can see it here. Direct message, inbox. Notification is whatever messages you got. Or let us say if someone has mentioned you or any post you missed, all those will be present on your notification section. If anyone has mentioned you, just like you can mention others, others can mention your Twitter handle. If you have any mention for yourself, you can find it here. This is direct message and this is your profile which I have already shown you. And under this you have the latest trending topics, the tweets that you have shared, uh, saved for future reference. And then you have lists and this is your Twitter circle. If you add any group of friends or group, group of teammates, etc., you can form your own Twitter circle. Creator Studio is for designers. We, we don't use this. What are all the professional tools we have? Twitter ads is available. But Twitter ads is not a topic for us because 
it works only in usd minimum 1000 dollars per day until and unless i add a credit card i can't take you inside that also so but general set uh, options will be campaign creation campaign objective selection and running the campaign after adding the credit card that's it and settings and support normal privacy display help is customer care that's about twitter guys any questions ma is it clear Yes, yes, right. 90% out of my experience, I am saying this to you. You don't get an opportunity of creating an account at any point of time if it is for a client requirement. In my uh, like 10 years of service that I am providing till date, almost eight years, let us say officially, company registered eight years back. So since eight years, I did not get even one Twitter client actually. So that's how you know it's not that. popular for company purpose individuals like celebrities and all will use twitter's more so that's a different story so that's about it guys account creation optimization and tweeting options i'm stopping the recording here don't go away